Poopa. Good morning. We, what are we doing here today? We're, we're here to hike. We're doing a bunch of hikes today. Like a bunch of them. We're gonna knock all the ones in South Chicagoland area out. We're gonna finish another section today. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Starting with the Iroquois County, County. State Nature Natural Na <laughs> State Natural Area. Iroquois County State Natural Area, which is where we are now, and that's broken, I guess, into two sections, two rectangles on the map, and the first part of the hike is through the Hoopa. Hoopa. For those of you who have a Jaws reference there, Hoopa! Uh, branch, what is this? Hooper Branch Savannah. Yes. The total hike is supposed to be under three miles, two and a half to 2. three. 2.15. Ooh, even less. Yeah. Okay. Short. Uh, the drive. So, a couple of things here. There's a, there's a couple of reasons why we're killing these hikes out today. One is this is about as far away a hike is as there is in the book. In there, fact, I think it is, it is the farthest yeah, book. It's the furthest one. Yeah. Um, and I would suspect Lake Geneva would be the farthest north. So Lake Geneva, you know, that's basically a eight to ten mile hike. It's really just gorgeous, uh, and you can turn it into a twenty-three mile hike and do the whole lake. Uh, Plus, that, you go through multiple towns. Yeah, yeah, Do right. Um, so that I can see is worth the two-hour drive. This, this is very different. So uh, I'm really happy to, on one regard, to be walking here and making the effort to get down here. The other thing is, of course, to provide the video so that others who are considering it can see if this is worth coming to. Uh, you, well, you see. So the wildflowers are just starting to bloom here. Yeah. The book has a long list of wildflowers that are here. Mm -hmm. What are your first impressions so far? I mean, we just got out of the car, but... It's similar to the Thorn Creek, which we did yesterday. And it's pretty cool because it, it is far away from roads and uh, people. A lot of these other hikes are... Um, you're gonna you're gonna hear not city life, but people noises I don't know. civilization civilization I don't know so this is cool to get away from Everything I mean we're really out here My uh, My impression comes with kind of the understanding of this hike this area is preserved I guess for a couple of different reasons. It's a wet savanna, um, which we understand is the driest of the wetlands. Yes. A, a what's a marsh? Ball, a uh, marsh. marsh being I think the, it's the wettest. It's the wettest. Kind of cool. Um, and in this particular branch, the hoopa branch, this is all sand we're working on, walking on. Yeah. And apparently there was a glacial lake. 14, 13, 14,000 years ago that subsided and left all the sand behind. And uh, we're going to get some dunes here at some point. But this is, if you just kind of pause and look around, or don't pause, this is supposedly pretty close to the way the natural savanna and the natural land of, of Illinois was. And I don't know, I mean, we, we, so many times we talk about open prairies and we've hiked so many different prairies. This does not feel like a prairie. This does not feel like any of those at no, all. Right. The closest thing I can relate this to is that long 15 mile hike we went on at Indiana National. Yeah, Glenwood okay. Dunes. Yeah, yes, exactly. Oh, good, good. That's not so far away from here either. But, you know, there is sand, a little bit of sand on the ground, but still like plants, vegetation, like. Uh-huh. But I like this because it's, uh, you have a floor, like you could see wagon trains making their way through this. Mm -hmm. But it's not open, there's trees. The other thing is coming here, you, this is really out of the way. 
you know it's the highway to the county road to a smaller county road to a smaller county road to quite literally a dirt road and so the final two miles of this drive is on gravel in the process it is flat it is everything that illinois has been, has come to be known of flat farm and we can see as far as the sun last night coming in we took a photo of the sun set which was just gorgeous and uh you know you can see as far literally as far as the sun because yes. it's so flat there are like no hills but to see how much of this land this is what was converted mm. so imagine this everywhere that we just saw it's cool that all that has been converted into farmland mm. some of it was you know prairie not all of it had trees but you know i can't i can't see the horizon here obviously because we have trees mm -hmm. so that was my big impression on the way in is what is this going to be in the middle of all this farmland you know mm -hmm. how can this be special and it uh, is and, <laughs> and it is um yeah All right, well, we'll hopefully catch you when we're at the dunes.